In this example, we're told we have a weight W placed on a piston here. The piston area is capital A. It's atmospheric pressure outside of this. And then that piston pushes down on the working fluid here, which has a density of rho, and then uh, pushes down here, and then that fluid moves up a distance um, from point 0.1 to point 0.2 here. That's a distance L along the incline. This, this tube here is inclined with an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. And then the end of the tube is open to the atmosphere as well. So this is called an inclined tube manometer. And we're asked to find the, uh, what, what the weight is, W, in terms of the fluid density, gravitational acceleration, displacement L, piston area A, and the angle theta. So this will be a manometer problem coupled with a very simple fluid statics work. So what we're going to do is we're going to find um, the pressure at this point. Uh, let me go ahead and just put it right there. Um, that's the final position of the liquid. The pressure there is atmospheric pressure. So I, I want to find the pressure at that point, and I'm going to start with the pressure here. Okay, so let's call the pressure here uh, P piston. It's just right below the piston. So the pressure at, at this point here is just atmospheric pressure. So the, that's the pressure we end up with. The pressure we start with is P piston. And then I'm going to work my way around this inclined tube manometer. So I can go down a distance here. I don't know what that distance is, but um, I'm going to come right back up the same vertical distance to point one um, and and then so the so the pressure here is going to be the same as the pressure right there right because it's just at the same elevation so the pressure there is also p piston right because i've gone down some distance in that fluid and then i've just come up the same vertical distance remember it's just vertical distances that matter here so it's p piston there and then i'm going to go to point two and to get to that point i move I'm moving upward, so I'm going to subtract out some weight of the fluid. The, the fluid density is rho. And the vertical distance I move from here to here will be L uh, sine theta. You have to look at the geometry. So if I kind of sketch that out, this distance is L. And then uh, this is a theta. So the vertical distance here will be L sine theta. So that's how the pressure at the piston is related to atmospheric pressure here just from that U-tube, I'm sorry, the inclined tube manometer. Now to get the pressure in the piston, uh, if you look at this equation, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with W. But I can relate W to the pressure at the piston because the pressure here, let me, let me redraw this, the pressure force acting upward here, so there's pressure P piston, that pressure force has to balance the force acting down from above, which will include the weight of the object there, plus the atmospheric pressure acting all over the whole surface as well. So this is all P atmosphere. So if I just sum forces in the vertical direction, set it equal to zero, the force pushing upward would be P piston times the area of the piston. And then the forces pushing down would be W, that's the weight, minus P atmosphere times the same area, A. So then when I work this out, I'll get P piston is equal to W over A plus P atmosphere. If I've done my algebra correctly. So I can substitute that in right up here. And then let me do that and simplify it. Okay, and then you'll see the P atmospheres cancel out, and then ultimately I'll get the following for the weight. So I can measure the, the weight of that object, W, using this inclined tube manometer, and you'll see it's related to the specific weight of the liquid in the manometer times the distance we've moved along the arm, L, times the area of the piston here, and then, of course, the angle shows up to give us that vertical distance, that's sine theta. Okay, so this really involves just a couple of um, a couple of items that we have to be aware of. Number one is just how to analyze the manometer. Probably the trickiest parts of this manometer analysis are just knowing that we need the vertical distance in the tube here, not, not the distance along the arm, but it's just the vertical distance, so it's L sine theta. Also no, noting that 
we're starting with the pressure down here because it's the pressure in the fluid. We just call it P-piston. Then the second part that's tricky in this problem is just getting P-piston in terms of the weight and atmospheric pressure. The rest of it's just algebra. Okay, we'll end the example there.